This is not the energy that we want. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm currently sitting on my lovely plague nurse and my squishmallow and a tiny unicorn that my girlfriend got me. But we are over here in my lovely record corner today because I'm going to be going through all of my records that I own and showing you guys my record collection. My makeup is on point, if I may say so myself today, because it's my birthday today. When you guys are seeing this, it won't be my birthday. My birthday is February 17th. I'm turning 23 this year. I will have to change the description of my videos when I post this to say 23 instead of 22. And yeah, um, I have had a good day just playing video games on my Switch. I got this new game called Spiritfarer and it's messing with me emotionally. It's a very emotional game, but I really, really enjoy playing it. I've also been obsessed with Stardew Valley. Maybe I'll do like my favorite cozy, um, games that I like to play because that's kind of more of my vibe and maybe I'll do a video on that in the future once some more games that I'm looking forward to come out and do some like gameplay or something I don't know but um yeah I'm gonna go through all of these because I feel like I haven't done this or if I haven't if I have done this I haven't done it in a while and I've definitely gotten a lot more records um, just from collecting them over the last few years and yeah most of my records are second hand. Um, I have this new mark uh, record player and I got that when I went off for college about five years ago. <laughs> That's weird to say out loud. Um, so yeah I've had it for a really long time and it's been in my- maybe I got it before then. I'm not entirely sure. I think- sorry there's piece of my bang in my eye and it keeps going back in. Um, I think I got it around then. I might have gotten it my senior year, my junior year of high school, but I think I got it around college time. I know I didn't take it with me my freshman year or my sophomore year, but I brought it when I had my own apartment. It's kind of hard to like find the space for a record player when you're trying to find space for everything else but anyway this intro is way too freaking long so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, so first I have this record which if you don't know just by the front of it it is an Arctic Monkeys record um, and it has I don't know which one this is. It has Do I Want to Know, Are You Mine, One for the Road, Arabella, uh, Why Do You Only Call Me When You're High, all of that stuff but I'm not sure what the name of the actual record is. This I got as a gift probably from my parents. I can't remember. I got a bunch of records when I got my record player. I'm just gonna put them back in here because they are in alphabetical order. Um, I also obviously there is a record on my record player right now which I have a tendency to just leave the last record that I've played on there which is not good but um I play this one a lot. So this is Plantasia, Mother Earth's Plantasia. Warm earth music for plants and the people who like them. This is one of my favorite albums. Um, my ex-boyfriend got this for me, which was honestly a great gift purchase on his part, but it comes with this like little booklet that explains to you all the songs and it came with a packet that you could plant a little like piece of paper that you could plant that had wildflower seeds in it and they never actually bloomed but I did try planting it. They're like different names and it's really cute. It's by Mort Garson but it's one of my favorite things to listen to and I wish that it wasn't super old and I wish there was another album of it. Oh no. Okay, that's not what we want to do today. This is not the energy that we want. So um, as you can see, some of them are falling apart, as in this chorus line. Otherwise, it's in pretty good condition, um, but the bottom is just clearly broken. So that's fun. Um, I also have this little record cleaner thing which comes with a brush as well as this thing. So the way I do it is I usually like 
spray you get a spray as well in there I spray them and then I wipe it but you can also turn the record player on and like turn the I don't know how you do it mine doesn't start moving until you oh this hair until you move the actual like needle over so I don't know how you would clean them without having the needle in the way that's just the way that I do them but I think you can turn on your record player if you have one that like has a separate motion switch I don't know I know my dad has one that's fancier so I'm sure he can do it that way but I cannot um, I, this is gonna be a lot of show tunes and musicals uh, Annie also got this thrifted as well as the chorus line one um, Brigadoon, a great musical if you haven't seen it also thrifted this truly a great find Burt Bacharach make it easy on yourself the weird thing about this album is that I'm pretty sure I manifested it here's why I was walking into one of my local Goodwills and I always 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 check the vinyl section and you have to go through every single vinyl which sometimes is annoying sometimes I just go through a few and then I'm like whatever it's fine I'm, I'm not gonna look through the rest of them um, and sometimes I flip through all of them because it's a lot of like Jesus music um, people from the 80s and 70s that are irrelevant and Christmas hymns things like that that's most of what's there but there are a lot of musical albums and also some more well-known artists. So this one is Burt Bacharach, Make It Easy On Yourself. And I walked in there and I was like, wouldn't it be wild if I could find an Austin Powers soundtrack on vinyl in here? And for those of you who don't know, this is the album that has I'll Never Fall In Love Again, which is a song that they play in Austin Powers. So I basically manifested that in a different way than I thought was going to happen. This is Carol King, Rhymes and Reasons. I've been listening to this one a lot, but um, I also thrifted this one. And I went to a James, I think it was a James Taylor and Carol, Carol King concert with my parents when I was pretty young. So I know her music pretty well. Another one, Carol King Music. I don't know if this one's a different name but it has back to california brighter brother brother carrie lord growing away from me from me all that this is a carpenters album i love the carpenters and we've only just begun top of the world ticket to ride superstar rainy days and mondays this is another thrifted one a really good find i saw this and i was like i have have to get that because I actually enjoy listening to that music. This one, this one, so another tip that I have when you are looking through vinyls is that you always have to take them out of the case and see if they have any scratches on them because especially when you're thrifting a lot of them are going to have scratches on them. This one wasn't as bad, but when I play it, you can definitely tell that it was well loved. Um, but it's Walt Disney's merriest songs, and it has songs like Mary Poppins' Shim Shim Shuri, Give a Little Whistle from Pinocchio, um, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf, Siamese Cat Song, which is really racist, but it's fine. Um, this is from a long time ago. This is from 1968, guys. Wild. The Cinderella Work Song. And some of them are a little bit weird because they're like the original soundtrack or just odd versions of them. So I played it when um, my best friend Jean was here. We were both like, this is just a little, it's a little off, but it's fine. Um, then this is one that I also got as a gift. Plans by Death Cab for Cutie. Honestly, one of my favorite bands. It's a great album. I also have a freaking classic, Fallout Boy. Who wouldn't have this? I don't remember what album this is. It's the Centuries. It has Centuries on it. Um, yeah, this was also a gift as well. Really don't find any popular records like modern vinyl at the thrift store because 
obviously if you're buying modern vinyl there's going to be more of a demand for modern vinyl so people are going to want to actually make money off of selling them um this is the fantastics another one from the thrift store for 50 cents i still haven't taken the sticker off um flooding girl another thrift store find fiddler on the roof another classic i find a lot of those at thrift stores there's a lot of repeats that you're you'll see like my fair lady is really popular um i think I, do i have south pacific too if i don't i should get that one but um what else oklahoma is really popular annie is pretty popular this is jesus christ superstar this is a big one also a thrift find oh uh, yeah the king and i the music man i've seen a lot of these also a thrift store this is musical theater great moments of music with the boston pops and it just has a bunch of songs from well-known sh shows uh it's from fiddler my fair lady sound of music and hello dolly and there's like multiple songs from each of those in there um my fair lady this is an interesting version this is the original soundtrack recording um for the for the movie though this is not the actual show which is another thing that you'll find is that like you get the soundtrack for the movie but not the show um i have to see if uh if it's the same I, I don't think i've listened to that one in a while so i have to figure that out oklahoma this one is actually in pretty decent condition surprisingly but this this is also from the sound oh gosh yeah someone hasn't opened that in a while um from the soundtrack of the motion picture so it doesn't have all of the songs in it um doo -doo -doo. then we have panic at the disco too weird to live too rare to die this one has a uh, miss jackson on it this is i feel like one of their less known albums but i don't think i could find um i rate sense and not tragedies i don't know what album that's from but whatever album that's from i could not find it on vinyl but i got this as a gift as well um also queens of the stone age like clockwork this is a really good this is like a very weird i found this band i don't remember how i found them um it's a very odd odd sound i would say for this one this one was also a gift i really don't buy like modern albums myself i usually get them as gifts um i should start doing that more okay these are a honestly a thrift find that i will never give away ever um they're living shakespeare so it's basically a reading of shakespeare on vinyl <laughs> I just I I can't even I can't I cannot even I remember finding these and being like who decided that this was gonna be a thing um yeah so we have Hamlet everyone's favorite and Macbeth also everyone's favorite it's a lot um I don't know how old are these it's a good question And then we have also one of my most iconic finds um will miss shirley temple do you guys i honestly look like her if you guys did not watch shirley temple as children um what were you doing i had most of her tapes from all her little things i think my favorite one i don't even they did curly top mm. the little animal crackers in my soup um rebecca of sunberg farm come get your happiness um yeah just some classics some classics heidi was also one of my favorites yes i do have south pacific okay <laughs> uh sound of music classic again this is the, i think the original version this is not the yeah this is the original not the movie 
and then we have South Pacific, another classic, also from the thrift store. And then we have State Fair and Flower Drum Song. So this is something they also like to do with musicals. I had one like this for Brigadoon, and it was another musical. I think it was Brigadoon and My Fair Lady or something like that. And then I found an actual Brigadoon um, album, but... They like to just do like some songs from one one show and some songs for from another. Um, but I love State Fair. If you haven't seen State Fair, it's a it's a great classic musical, great old musical. Thoroughly modern Millie um, with Julie Andrews as Millie and. Carol Channing, uh, how iconic, honestly. <laughs> it's the original soundtrack album. Yeah, that was also a thrift find. And then this is a more obscure one, um, The Unsinkable Molly Brown. I think I've listened to this probably once, but I have never heard of this musical, so if you have, let me know. Also a thrift find. And then, oh, uh, this one I see all the time. West Side Story, a classic. This is the original soundtrack recording um, from the movie, I assume? Yeah. Yeah, this is like, this is not... Yeah, yeah, this is the original soundtrack from the movie. Um, yeah, also from the thrift store. There we go. That is all of the records that I own so far. I'm sure I will collect more. I am so excited to, move, one, move to New York in general, but also move to New York and find like really cool record stores and like secondhand vintage record stores and all that kind of stuff and see if I can find some more gems. I do have to like write down at some point all of the records that I own, especially the musical ones, because there have definitely been moments where I've looked at stuff in the store and been like, do I have this musical? Do I not have this musical? The world may never know. But you know, if it's a dollar, does it really matter if you buy it and then you go, uh, oh well. I'll just give it back anyway. Not really. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. If you'd like to, you can check out my previous video on that side of the screen and my previous vlog on that side of the screen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Stay happy and healthy. <laughs>